Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. I have a, um, a project share with a tutorial from one of the dies I received from Hello Bella. And of course this die will be linked and Hello Bella in the description. Um, this die was the one I had said when I did the preview of the dies they sent me. I said it is the cutest dies. So I did this one like the example and isn't he the cutest little pug? Look at his little curly tail. Oh my heck. Adorable. So this die did all this paper piercing, this die, this dog, and then I did a pink one. Also, I know there aren't any pink glitter pugs, but she's really fun, right? So I did her, and we are going to paper piece the blue pug. Now, when we're done, I'm going to show you how you don't have to paper piece. You can just die cut it and go and it'll be adorable but I wanted to do the tutorial so you can see that it's not very hard it just takes a couple of extra steps and you got it so I made these little um, pockets and we're going to glue our guy here onto the pocket mm, I have die cut all the pieces in advance you get the body and the belly piece probably should do it this way right maybe on the regular dog and the belly piece and the eyes and nose eyes eyes nose and the mouth right here and the glasses here mouth here glasses here feet how cute and ears one two three four five six seven dies making multiple pieces so for our little blue guy here i die cut one body one belly one mouth Pull this guy down a minute. Mm -hmm. I did one body, one belly, one mouth. That's wrong. I did a few mouths because this one we're going to cut for the paper piercing. So I did three mouths. Eyes, I did two. I did one in black and one in white. And the nose, I did in blue and in white. So I cut this die three times, black, white, and blue. I did the glasses once, and I did the body actually two times. Or the other one we're going to use in the other example, because we're going to paper piece in all of these little feet, or toes, I should say. <laughs> one set of ears, one set of feet, and I think I already said one glasses. So let's put them together. Take some of my glue here, or glitter glue it is the kind I use. And I'm just going to add some to our guy. I don't want to over or under glue, just right. And I'm going to put him, move those mouths out of the way so we can leave him here. Just going to put him down here at the bottom. There he is. A good press down. And so these little ears are just adorable. They just go on super easy. Because if you can see, there's a little, almost like a little tab right here. And it kind of helps guide you to where the ear should be 
and you want it to kind of be, I'm going to put glue in a minute, where that little spot touches the top and then it gives the look of the ears flipped over, which is just too adorable. I'm going to keep that guy here too, so you can see what I mean as I'm putting the pieces on. So we have one ear. I also like to use tweezers because then it helps me have enough space and time to put him all together really good. Awesome. Next ear coming right up. Now I put this on this colored paper so this way all the white pieces and whatever other colors would show up better. And again, you can keep that tab as a guide. And squish it down and squish it down. Ears done. Let's do his body and on his body is belly. <laughs> Get his belly going. Blue. I didn't say is my oh, whoop, don't lose any toes. Make sure my little puppy is in the right spot. My little blue puppy. What will we name him, I ask you? Let's get his little mouth on next. Some of these pieces are plenty big. And as you can see in this one, he's got some embossed details on him, which kind of guides you as to where to put the nose and the belly and the glasses. Since I have that guy as a reference, I already know that his mouth goes, where are my tweezers? His mouth goes somewhere, a little bit above there. I'm going to go with here. I am fairly certain that that is correct. Now, <clears throat> I want to make his mouth the way I made the girl, the pink, the girl, the pink dog, the girl dog where this dog has the red and the white and the black around the mouth and I did her with black and pink. I want to do him with black and blue. So I'm going to cut the tongue mouth part out of this piece that I've cut and cut this out first, which is very, very easy because it's somewhat die cut already. So I just cut it on that side, cut it on that side, move that out of the way, and now I just have to I could pop it out, but I'm going to snip it and keep it nice and neat. Snip and snip. Easy peasy. So now we're left with this, as you can see, two parts of the mouth. And I am going to cut it into those two parts. I'm going to separate the bottom part with the tongue from the top part. And you just do it really careful. And you'll have it out in a jiffy. Now we have a tongue and that upper mouth part. They're both separate. So I'm going to take the top part 
here. This part, and I'm going to glue it in the top of the mouth in the same way that this dog has a red part. So I'm going to use my tweezers. Add a drip of glue. I certainly don't need much, just a little piece of paper. And I'm going to put it in. And I know perhaps the white background paper is light for you to see. Pop it in there. And you can see in this one where it's red and then white. We're just doing black and then blue. And we're just going to cut the blue piece the exact same way. Just going to snip here. And because I've already done it and showed you, now I can pop it out a little bit easier. because I only need that bottom part because we just use the top part. And again, we just follow the lines. And cut it out. And now, look, dropped it. Now we have our little tongue part. Take the tweezers. Excellent. Flip it and put it right into place. Right there. Now he has a cute little smile, just like his sister. Oh, I think this has to move a wee bit. There we go. And then we both have cute little... He needs eyes, of course. So I cut the nose and the eyes out twice. And what I did was, if you could see... There's like the opening there when I did it in white, that's this part of the nose. So I just flip them upside down of each other and then the nose gets the white. So it looks like a nose. Oh, look what I realized I forgot too, his feet. How could I forget his little feet? They're just too cute. Isn't that the cutest little dog? Oh my heck. Remember when I showed you the dye? I was like, I wasn't sure what it was, but no, when I first got it. And then I saw it on the website, and I was like, it's just so cute. Paper pierce piecing, paper piecing is a little time consuming, but it's not bad. And that's why I want to show you that you don't have to paper piece. If you don't like it, don't have to do it. You could just do what I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm going to put on these two eyes. Uh, trying to see right here. Perfect. And 
put in the glue. Oh, I didn't show you really. See, with this, I did the opposite when I did the eyes. I did them in white and I did them in black and then I was able to do, now I always just want to make sure that my eyes are pointing in the same direction. And I think, I think it's good. I have the glasses for him, but I wasn't going to use them on him. So he would be a little bit different than his sister. Now you can paper piece all of his toes and the pads of his feet in there if you want to. And you would just do it the exact same way that I've been doing it. You just add the glue here, use a tweezer, or um, if you have a sticky tool, and just pop them all in there. But now your little pocket is ready. You put your sentiment up here and it's beautiful. A little bit of tissue paper. And like I said with her, I paper pieced the pieces of her paws and even gave her a little bow. And this is just the original little brown pug with the black. Super cute. But now I wanted to show you one more thing. And that is, if you don't like paper piecing, you don't have to. You get every single thing you need in this kit, in this die set, so that you don't have to paper piece if you don't want to. Here is a card, and I made the bottom black and the top white. This is one of, this is the base dog body. Adding my glue, adding my pooch right to here. And now, move them over a little. What's going on here? Now he's got little black paws instead of having to paper piece. See? Now you take his little black body and put that on the bottom. Right here. And now we take his little feet, which are over here. This piece is closer to me. I still like my tweezers. One foot. Wow. There we go. Two foot. Now, when you put the eyes on, you're gonna not need to have, whoops, <laughs> not going to have to worry about the white behind the eye because the animal is white. So right now it looks pretty weird, I guess, because he doesn't have any of his other parts yet, but I'm just trying to make sure we get him done in a good amount of time. See, so see, we didn't layer anything this time. We just die cut him, and now we're making him into a cute little pooch. Here's his mouth. Don't need to paper piece it. It's fine just like it is. Checking on my glasses. No glasses are fine. 
He looks so cute. All we have left is ears, and he's done. So, let's get these ears put on here. One ear. Oh, one ear. I ain't putting any glues. I'm just trying to straighten them up. Mm -hmm. And two ears. Now, you just have a black and white dog. Or you could have made him brown and white. Or pink, any color you want. But you don't have to paper piece. You can just cut the pieces and put them on. You can use multiple colors the tan the black the white and even a little red or you can make some fun pink and blue puppies which are super fun too so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed the video i really hope you'll check out hello bella and all of the wonderful assortment of dyes and things that they have and i'll be back soon with more projects with the dies I just got. Yay! Please leave me a comment and thank you so much for watching. Bye!